Hey, how's it going everybody? If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Victor Sanchez. Um, thank you for clicking on this. Most likely you're clicking it because you have some interest in building a home in Mexico. And um, if you're here for the first time, um, I've been posting videos here of my home build here in Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico, and my experience basically with the build and uh, the good and the bad. So. I've been posting updates uh, for now for about two years and today I have another update regarding my home build and some of the things that we have done here. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm really, really thankful. For, I'm thankful if you guys give me that thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe because uh, I try to do videos here um, basically of the home build and uh, just uh, some travel, but most of the, most of it is going to be about uh, some ideas about what you can do here in Mexico as far as building a home. So today I have a basic update of the wall, the front uh, wall here, and I'm going to get some details. I'm going to go over there and show you guys a little bit more information of that um, and the pricing and stuff. Okay, so um, stick around, guys. Again, if you guys like the video, I appreciate it. All right, guys, so this is the next update I have. I know that I was supposed to give you guys an update about that trim up there, and uh, I'll get back to that just in a bit. Um, we cleaned up the yard a little bit. Just uh, I had to put some kind of perimeter here, just give me an idea of where I'm gonna want the, the actual like um, roses and more plants and palm trees and stuff like that, where the grass area would be, and then uh, another area there where I'm going to put plants and then I have some of the tiles that's going to be going up in the top with that brick but we're going to be focusing a little bit on this this wall here front. and uh, basically what we have here is a fully in uh, wall this is here about a meter and a half okay and uh, basically it has one two three four five regular columns and then you have the two pillars in the front and now I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you guys a picture from the front everything is in Jarrado there's gonna be a finish it's gonna be a finish like this on the top so every every pillar is gonna have that finish I want to show you guys the back side and then um, I'm gonna show you guys the front side all right guys so here I'm we're talking a, bit, a little bit more of the wall from the front but before I do that I want to tell you guys how much um, time it took uh, what are the some constraints because we did have some snags um, during the construction uh, a little bit due to personnel and some just uh, some misunderstanding that we had of what we wanted so I'll be giving you guys that information so this this entire wall uh, basically as you guys see here in the back um, it took five weeks which is way more than it's supposed to but um we had some issues with um the builder the guy who who's working for us is working for us uh he had some back issues and stuff like that so we had to compensate and help um with him and then uh, also some of the the details in this is uh, uh sometimes a little hard to to understand where the labor time is going but where you put all these little rocks here in between it takes a lot of time so you can see right here also if I can get a better view a little bit better we had to put actually these these iron areas here is going to where the actual wrought iron is going to be at and uh, let me back up a little bit and show you guys a, a wider view All right, so this would be the entry. So you got the two pillars. Each pillar is about, I believe, two meters and a half, almost three. Um, this one is a little bit taller than that one right now. They're gonna still fix that one. And then, like I said, I'm gonna put this little brick area. So this is the, the entire view. And pretty much that way is, is the lake. You can see the, the dirt road here. And all this is in Parado or uh, 
plastered or stucco finish. And this is the finish of the, the brick. And again, it's going to be on all, each one of them. We have the metal, I don't, I forgot what they're called, but it's to put the wrought iron basically across the way. The wrought iron is going to be right here. It's going to be a gate here. This right here is two meters wide. I did want a wide gate. So it's going to have some kind of curve eventually on it. And then this will be more wrought iron. Pretty simple. You can see how it kind of is a lot more wider over here than this side over here. So, so it, it took five weeks and the cost of this entire thing was $2,000. Um, most of the cost was in the pillars uh, in the labor time. So if you were to split it, I would say there's about $1,000 worth of labor and a thousand dollars with the material this essentially here is not that expensive but that over there is actually a little bit more expensive more time consuming because what they do is actually chip every rock and that's why i wanted to come out here and uh, they chip every rock and then they have to size it so those rocks are actually coming from here and then they take every little size every little thing here like this and they position it and they go and they just add it so the process of this one, if you guys are curious, to build a front wall is uh, we first had to dig out a trench all, uh, all across the way. After they dealt the trench, they actually put the, I would say, the foundation, will, will, which would look a lot more like down right there. And then they actually add bricks. So I'll be pushing, uh, placing pictures right now on the side. So then it's brick. And then they do the pillars of brick also. After they do the pillars, I'm sorry, this, they have to add this dala. This is a dala here. Basically, this is a, there's a metal, uh, like a castillo looking uh, rod inside of it. And then they fill it with concrete. And that's all, the, all across the way. And then they put the brick, basically, one at a time, building it. And then they give the, the form of the pillar. So so it's the trench. Then they dig. Then they actually put stones for the foundation. Dala. The brick. They build it up. Then afterwards they put the anjare. So all that took five weeks. Again, it's a little bit. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the video around and explain to you guys what happened right now a little bit. Okay, so um, for you guys who haven't been here before, um, the property measures from this point to this point, 21 meters, 21 and a half. And from this point all the way to the far end is uh, 66 meters. So I'm just gonna go there very quick if you've been here. If you haven't been to my channel before, you don't have to go back and look at other videos to see it. Okay, hopefully you guys did a, a drone shot at the beginning of the, of the video of the general view of the property, but essentially this is, uh, again, 21 and a half that way, and basically from that end to that end, 66 meters, I believe it's about uh, 1,450 square feet, or 1,300 square meters, something like that, so, all right, I'm going to take a... I'm gonna turn the camera around. We got the visitor dogs here, <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what happened. So, so some of the constraints that we had here is basically uh, part of the the business negotiation part of it, um, salaries, vacations, and stuff like that. Um, the builder had not; he wasn't happy for quite a while but he had not said anything uh, we had not offered him a, a raise and stuff like that so I can understand where he was uh, a bit frustrated uh, and I guess some of this complete I guess the expectation is for us to do it as well as for him to ask it and so we agreed to a raise uh, due to inflation and just everything you know everything's so expensive 
and uh, we have just a long-term relationship with them over 20 years. So obviously it was better to negotiate with them and, and do something about it. So part of the, the five weeks was basically the delay of that wall. Um, it's not the way I would have preferred it to be brought up. But so my frustration is that he took five weeks and his frustration is showing it on how long he's taking. Basically, he's getting paid more for the work that he should have done faster. It's not what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so uh, obviously I got very upset and uh, and obviously he was upset. And and at the end, we, we came up to a really good agreement on what the expectation would be as far as like this education and pay and stuff like that. Um, and I think it's very fair to what we talked about. I won't talk about his salary, um, but generally um, in a worker that is the, the main guy, or el, el maestro, what they call him, or la primer pala, nationally they get paid about $3,000, 3,000 pesos a week. So um, we negotiated a better price than that. Uh, because there is so much other things that he does. And then uh, we ne also ne negotiated on his helper uh, to increase his, his salary too. So and, uh, anyhow, um, sometimes you have to go through this. It's fine. It's understandable with everything going up. Uh, I think uh, learning here, what we did is for we don't, so we don't have this issue anymore. We said that every year we would give him a set increase of cost of living and then uh, also uh, he would let us know before he gets frustrated. So, so these are learning things, guys. Uh, if you do hire somebody, consider a yearly raise for your workers. Uh, consider vacation and negotiate with them, especially the ones that you're going to keep full year, year after year, because those guys are going to come in and out, and uh, and so you don't have to do that. The other things that we didn't r really clear is the aliñados. Uh, we had workers work in my house, my dad, in my, my brother's house. And sometimes they would work only for three months and then they would leave. And um, so apparently when you, you do work about three months, you, you're supposed to give a portion of the aguinaldo, in which we didn't do. So it's really hard to fix that anymore. But moving forward, uh, we have agreed that if they work more than three months, the aguinaldo, which is like a bonus, it's a week's pay at the end of the, end of the year. It's not a big deal. We just weren't aware. So the, hopefully you guys are aware of that. So when you guys enter into negotiations and stuff like that, uh, when you're building your house, keep all that in mind, okay? So, all right, guys. So that's a little bit of information about the wall. Uh, the next the next thing that we'll be doing is actually the outer perimeter. Uh, again, I totally like part of it was his issue because um, he does have some health issues, health issues ongoing. And uh, we're trying to work with him. Again, it's a partnership, it's a friendship. And so we're going to wait. And uh, it's a little give and take. So... We'll wait on doing that top part and uh, that should only take like uh, about a week week and a half to do and about a cost of a thousand dollars that's with labor and uh, materials all right guys so that's it for now god bless you guys hope you guys like this video again if you like it give me a thumbs up